today's world, we're full of anger, jealousy, and conflicts. And that is how life is, unfortunately. The moment we're born, we're put into a competition to go to the best schools, to get 100% marks, or even finding the perfect job. Unfortunately, this is how life is, a rat race. We do not get to live in the moment. We're always in a hurry. In order to survive this dog-eat-dog -dog world, we let ego become part of our lives. And when we let ego in our lives, we set up a barrier. A barrier where we cannot trust other people, or we cannot be kinder, compassionate human beings for all. I would like to share a personal story with all of you that got me thinking about something, about life. In 2019, my maternal grandma passed away. A day after the cremation, my uncle and I went to pick up her remains. We got to the cremation ground, and the clerk at the desk said, go to locker number 10. We opened the locker, and all we got in return was a small urn about this size. That got me thinking. We went up to the river Ganga, did our prayers and rituals, and let go of our remains. On my journey back to Delhi, which was about two hours, it said, that's not possible. This is my grandmother. This cannot be true. This cannot be reality. Someone who I loved and made numerous memories with her and spoke to her on a daily basis, complained to her when I had fights with my parents. This cannot be true. But yet, this was reality. We have to leave this planet someday. Like they say, dust to dust. Yet we're so filled with ego and conflict and anger so today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to share with you all five mantras of letting go of your ego and finding your true identity. The first mantra, we must learn to forgive and let go. We carry so much burden and past grudges with us that weighs us down. We do not let go. We must learn to forgive those who hurt us, plus ourselves. Only then can you create new opportunities and new spaces in your life. I would like to share another personal story with you about, about, about forgiveness. About a year ago, in 2021, my ex-girlfriend wanted to reconnect and date me again. This is after three years of really hurting me and dumping me for no reason. So I said, why not? Life is a journey, so why not? This is despite my friend saying, are you crazy? Are you mad? You want to date your ex-girlfriend again? What is wrong with you, dude? Now, she happened to live in Mumbai, in Bangalore, and I happened to live in Delhi. We both had family in Mumbai. So we used to meet on a constant basis. And after every conversation, because it was long distance, she said the words, I love you. She was there for three months, and I kept on flying back and forth. On my last trip to Mumbai, she stopped saying those words, I love you. It got me mystified, saying, someone who wanted to marry me and love me, saying, I don't love you anymore? Yes, it was crazy. So I brought up this, and I asked her the reason why. She told me the reason why. We cried, we fought. I even called one of my cousins and said, listen, help me, what do I do? See, for me, reading body language and social cues are not easy because of my learning disability. So she told me the reason. We semi made up, and that was it. On my return to Delhi, she started acting weird again, saying, I cannot attend your calls, I cannot attend your events online. And one day, like deja vu, she came, gave me the similar call. I knew this time, because three years ago, the same call happened to me. Before she could hurt me anymore, I said thank you and goodbye. So the moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, is I forgave her, but I have to let her go. The second mantra, learn to be honest. 
We often say yes to our family and friends when they ask us for favors, even though we cannot do it because we don't want to disappoint them. We must learn to say no. No when you cannot do something and no when it has no value for yourself. And also be honest with yourself. Today I see so many young teenagers having fake social media accounts or trying to be part of a group just to fit in. Even I did that. We must learn to remove our mask. When we lose our mask, we find our true identity. And when you find a true identity, you find a true self. The third mantra, surrender your need to control. We often say, this is my phone, or my watch, or my house, or my money, or I did this for you, or I did that for that. When we attach ourselves to our material objects or achievements, we start losing our happiness. We identify with that. Folks, nothing in life is forever. And when you identify with that and you lose your happiness, the rest will fall like dominoes. The fourth mantra, learning to have silent moments with yourself. That is very important. Like I said in the beginning, we're always in a hurry. Every day we're in a rush. We have no time to just to click the pause button. Every day, for five minutes of your busy schedule, in your home or in your house, wherever you feel comfortable, reflect on your inner voices. Just take a break. How was my day today? Was it a good day? Was it a bad day? Was it a great day? Listen to your past mistakes. For me, mistakes are life lessons. When you do that, not only are you grateful, but you're much happier. Also, if you can't, try to perform an act of kindness without expecting anything in return. Those who give help are much happier people. That is very important. And the fifth and final mantra, learning to be grateful. We often complain that my friend has the latest Xbox, or my friend's wearing the next Air Jordans, or he has the latest iPhone. It is true. Or all my friends are married, but I'm not. I always say that to myself all the time. We must be grateful for what we have, that we're alive today, we have fever of diseases, we have food on the table. We must be grateful. Those who are grateful are more composed and more compassionate than those who are not, and much loving. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to do a small exercise with all of you in the audience who are still sitting there. First of all, just clear your minds. Yes, relax, clear your minds. And now I would like you to listen to my voice and listen to my instruction. Close your eyes. Yes, everybody close their eyes. Now follow my instructions. Inhale, exhale. Very good. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Now before you, do not open your eyes. Before we do the second time. Now before you breathe, Think of what you're grateful for, something you're grateful for, whatever it may be today, whatever it may be. Are you ready? And I'll join you. Ready? Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. And one more time. Inhale and exhale. Whenever you're ready, open your eyes. How does that make you feel? Is there a smile on your faces? I'm sure there is. This is an important thing. Every day, five minutes again, take a break and do this. You will feel much grateful. So, ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, when we learn and practice the five mantras of forgiveness, honesty, con control, enjoying silent moments with ourselves and being grateful, you will let go of your ego. And when you let go of your ego, you let go of your identity, you will find your identity. And when you find your identity, you have the power and the inspiration, not only to help others and be compassionate, but you can go and help others achieve their dreams. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen.